Prosecutors and defense attorneys made brief opening statements today in the trial of former Trump advisor Steve Bannon. The judge denied Bannon's request for a one-month delay amid arguments over what should be included as evidence in the trial. In the meantime, House January 6th committee is preparing to move forward with the next public hearing. Skylar Henry has more from Capitol Hill. <laughs> Former Trump campaign head and strategist Steve Bannon chuckled as he entered a D.C. federal courthouse for day two of his contempt of Congress trial. You feeling good today? I'm feeling great. Bannon was indicted after refusing to cooperate with a subpoena from the House January 6th committee. Both sides finalized a jury of 12 people and two alternates before opening statements started Tuesday afternoon. But attorneys spent the first half of the day arguing over whether letters sent between the committee and Bannon are admissible as evidence. Members of the House January 6th committee say they still haven't reached a decision on whether to subpoena former Vice President Mike Pence as they continue to collect evidence and prepare for more public hearings. Committee investigators had expected the U.S. Secret Service to possibly hand over alleged deleted text messages sent around the same time of the riot. But CBS News has learned the agency has turned over no new communications. The National Archives has now called on them to look into the missing text messages and to submit a report in 30 days. Another committee hearing Thursday will focus on the former president's actions as rioters violently stormed the Capitol. What we will lay out on Thursday is what was happening during those 187 minutes in the White House. At any point, he could have walked to the press room a couple feet away and called off the rioters. CBS News has learned former Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Matthews and former National Security Council member Matthew Pottinger will testify Thursday about what the former president was doing while the Capitol was under attack. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Well, Jim and Dwight and the rest of the office get the Lego treatment. Check this out is next.